Here comes the goat out of the final corner for his first lap of qualifying. He clearly does not realize that he has two more after this one. So, what is he going to do here? Is he A, going to crash into the wall right next to Pit Road? B, going to crash into the wall in the sand trap of Turn 1? C, realize he has some more laps to go and complete those? Or D, I, I don't... What could be a good D? Um, mm, mm. Mm. Well, no, it's pretty obvious. It's one of those three choices I mentioned before. And if you picked A, you're correct. Blithering idiots. What is up, peeps? It's Hannah Fuda, and today we are going to witness an amazing showdown. Three people are le oh, d d wait. three people are left in the running for the championship: Kika Honda with 85 points, Zachary Taylor with 74, and the Goat with 67. These two need to win today and try to keep Honda from scoring any points in order to have a chance for the final race at Abu Dhabi. If Honda can at least get um, three points, two, I don't know. He'll uh, he'll be able to win. And uh, as for these these guys, the constructors, who cares? We're really gonna be watching uh, Kika Honda today. He starts in second. It's National Foundation Day today. Um, in Japan, it's already the 12th, but today's the 11th in Pacific time. And again, that's what matters. We might need to reinforce that later. Oz Samira starts on uh, pole today, next to Kika Honda, of course. This is a Japanese Grand Prix, so the home crowd is definitely going to be wanting a Japanese to win. We got Zach Mills and Takemi Fujiwara, Zachary Taylor, one of the contenders, along with Hibiki Ganaha. We got Adam Lewis, Derek Campbell, Jeff Lewis, Hideki Ami, RJ Sherry, Patrick Smith, Rupert Vice, Miller, Maka Takikichi, Juan Laponte, Katarina Trenenko, Joey Trickle, Tito Peters, Steve Morgan, Michael Pedersen, the GOAT, again. Not qualifying either first or last. Strange. We got James Saunders and Ihidaki and rounding out the field are Corbett Williams and Jackson Curtis Jr. It's going to be 10 laps around Suzuka today. And, uh, well, I think everybody wants to see Kiki Honda win today. It's his home Grand Prix. I mean, you know, we at least want him to get uh, a good result, I guess, is, is what we're going for. That's always good, right? Well, everybody's really, really bunched spaced out on the grid because artificial stupidity lights out go 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 it's uh, Kiki Han and Azamira side by side heading towards turn one I should turn the volume up so I have a better feeling of the action there Azamira a bit further up into the turn they're getting a really nice push from Zach Mills Kiki Han getting the same from fellow Japanese Takumi Fujiwara Zach Mills not someone who really did very well this season he got some good results but was mostly unlucky if anything so uh, that he's running in the podium spot number three right now and fighting Kika Honda the main man that everybody wants to see win today along with some other Japanese probably that's 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 good it's, it's 
all those things and more. Where's the goat? That's the goat getting by on his teammate Michael Patterson. A bit of contact. Right front wheel of left rear wheel. Oop, more contact. Oop, oop. I don't know what oop is. Goat going a bit wide, heading through it towards turn whatever. F turn whatever. Very nice turn there. That's the goat getting by him in uh, another turn. Bit of contact with uh, Tito Peters there. A bit unsettled settled the car. Unsettled the car. I don't, I don't I don't know. There's a manga called Suzuki, apparently. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. Let's see. Dunlop and Dengner after the S's. Alright. Nine, hairpin, spoon, 130R, Casio triangle. Is that so? Is that what they call it? Interesting. Very interesting stuff we're learning today on Wikipedia, of course. Zaza Samir, well in front of Kika Honda. Um... Then there's Zach Mills, Takumi Fujiwara, Hibiki Gun, Hadera Camel, Zachary Taylor, Adam Lewis, Hadaki Amami, and Jeff Lewis in your top ten. That's both caterums in the top ten. Um, who else is both, both drivers in the top ten? I believe it's only these guys, actually. Actually, the GOAT's doing a really good job of uh, getting positions there. He started 22nd, and he's now behind Joey Trickle, who started 18th. So the GOAT's, uh, yeah, he didn't qualify well, but he's definitely going to want to be uh, doing well today. Hold on to his own chance of winning the championship. Certainly can't clinch it today, but he could very well do it at Abu Dhabi, depending on what happens. But knowing to go, he might just try to sabotage it by spinning out Honda and Taylor. That's him behind his teammate, Chernenko. Massive amounts of contact between the Ferraris there. Which reminds me, I'm not sure the GOAT's going to be able to keep his ride. Oh, that's uh, no, that's, that's Steve Morgan and Corbett Williams. Oops, Corbett Williams retiring from the race. Not even completing a full lap. That's a That's very strange. And Steve Morgan already in the pits. That's equally as strange, but, uh... Artificial stupidity! Yay! My dad's not happy because, uh... We had to delay going to the gym just to do this, uh... Recording, at least. Who are we? I'm talking about me. I did it. Ha! Ha ha, Dad! Ha ha ha! If you're, if you're listening, Dad... You're like, you're probably, like, downstairs or whatever. Get Rex, troll! You've been rexed. Let's take a look at the action going on here. That's Hibiki Ganaha and Derek Camel. These two have been duking it out all season, wherever they've been, but uh, Derek Camel is actually falling behind right now. Hibiki Ganaha and Takumi Fujiwara fighting for fourth spots. Fujiwara wanting to hold that position, of course. Ganaha has the inside heading towards um, the hairpin. The hairpin? They're already out of the hairpin. What am I smoking? Heading towards the spoon. She's going to file in behind him. But, oh, nope, she's going to she's gonna take the outside this time through the spoon. Very creative name, Japanese. I'm surprised you compared it to a spoon. Probably did that on purpose. It's not really shaped like a spoon. I mean, it's not as if the Japanese really use spoons that much. Maybe the soup ones. Like for miso. Oh, well, in that regard, it is sort of shaped like a soup spoon. That's the goat getting by Vice Mueller. He's looking to get past Patrick Smith as well. Jeff Lewis is 10th place, so that's a lot of positions that the goat's made up. And uh, he could find himself very well in the top 10 by lap 3, which is happening right now. How about that? Very surprising. Ooh, bit of an unsettling on the rear end for the goat. That's him in front of both Smith and R.J. Sherry. Can he beat Jeff Lewis to the line? Yes, he can. The GOAT takes 10th position away. Here he goes into turn one. Behind Hadaki Ami. A bit of a lock up. Oh, bit of contact. Both of them go spinning there. Oh, dear. That's the GOAT. Oh, oh dear. That's Rupert Weissmuller absolutely taken down. Uh, this line of cars led by Juan Lapuante slowed a bit. And that's a pretty badly smoking engine. And oh, that's Makita Kikuchi going sideways. Very unfortunate for her. There's Michael Pedersen. Rupert Weissmuller has got a smoking engine. Hadaki Amami's, uh, well, lost whole hosts of positions. So is the GOAT, really. There he is getting passed by his teammate, I say, as he refuses to let his teammate by. Very nice stuff from you, GOAT. So much for learning Ukrainian. Stop thinking about learning Swedish, you fool. Just because Sweden is semi-decent in Napoleon Total War doesn't mean you should learn their language. They all speak English anyways. He loves Ikea, too. Bit of contact to go by his teammates. 
very unusual display of aggression from Katarina Chernenko, but uh, we can't get into that now. She's got Cal with us to deal with as well. Actually, everybody behind the goat has got the smoking stuff to deal with. It's very dirty air, and that really increases drag because the laws of aerodynamics and physics told you so. We haven't actually learned about aerodynamics. We're currently learning about torque and inertia, moment inertia, which is slightly different from the normal inertia we learn about in gravity. Slightly. Yeah, but very unlucky stuff for the goat, actually. I think he's... Oh, wow. We didn't even notice... We didn't even mention the fact that the goat's probably thrown away his chances of getting the championship because we don't care. He's the goat. Who cares about the goats? Few people do, as it turns out. My mom is telling me to hurry up. You can't rush art. This is something I've been telling her for years. I learned it from Toy Story 2. I think Toy Story 2 had some really good life lessons. Here come some people into the pits. Fantastic stuff. Looks like their camel is staying out. I wonder if anybody will be taken up by the pit road wall as they were at Spa. It's not looking like it so far. Everybody getting in just fine. Goat falling very heavily from grace. That's him managing to, of course, avoid the wall. There's Makata Kikuchi as well. Caught up a bit in the mess. Steve Morgan back on track. Ai Hidaka right behind the field, and Rupert Weissmuller is, is only in the spoon. Very bad day for the Toyotas. Derek Campbell stayed out, and Oz Zamira is already exiting pit road. She's followed by Takumi Fujiwara. Next is Hibiki Ganaha, Adam Lewis, Kika Honda losing a few positions there. Not very good for him, and he's under pressure from Jeff Lewis as well. He tries to get by him on the inside through turn one. Then come the S-curves, and that's Kika Honda pulling in front because he's Kika Honda, and he's, well... Lots of expectations on your birthday, mate. There's Zach Mills, Patrick Smith, Katarina Chernenko, Joey Trickle, Tito Peters, Dan Dakota Jr., Cal Weathers, Steve Morgan. Steve Morgan's already in the pits, of course. Zachary Taylor out in front of Makita Kikuchi. Juan Laplante, James Saunders, and Ahidaka. Michael Pedersen's exiting pit road. Hanukkah Alami seems to be stuck. RJ Sherry and the Goat also stuck in pit road. Zachary Taylor under lots of pressure from Makita Kikuchi, actually. This is not looking good. It's, oh, she's right in his gearbox. Right in his gearbox. She well, obviously, Bandicam doesn't care about Makita Kikuchi being in Zachary Taylor's gearbox, but uh, this is not looking very good for him. Oh, dear. Oh, Zachary Taylor goes spinning, and that's him straight into the wall. Oh, my days. Oh, no. Well, this is awkward. Very awkward. Zachary Taylor's hopes of winning the championship are le left in tatters between Dunlop and Dengner. Makita Kikuchi goes spinning, taken out by Ahidaki of all people. Oh no. Kikuchi has learned the news, ladies and gentlemen. And Well, I bet Makita Kikuchi is really proud of herself, isn't she? We're going to have to we're gonna take, a, take a replay of that. Always drama happening in Japan, isn't there? That's so typical. Very dangerous stuff sent through the railing into the fence. Absolute takedown. Very scary stuff for Zachary Taylor. He must be crushed. Yes, Zachary Taylor. Apparently you watched the whole videos and you always say congrats to the winner. Well, I'm sorry, man, because you've been absolutely taken out. And Haruki Yamam, you're still stuck in pit road. I don't know what is going on there. But I bet Kiki Honda, despite being not in second anymore, is elated at the news. I'm sure he did not have a hand in that at all. Disclaimer, he did not have a hand in it at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dispel any rumors that the Japanese were working together to make sure a Japanese won a championship. I'll tell you who was working against Zachary Taylor. Artificial stupidity. You're welcome. Derek Hamill heading into the pits. Archie Cherry's still stuck there. Zachary Taylor, his day's over. There's the goat spinning. Um, out of turn one. Into the S's. Great car control to not hit these tire walls right there. His car is already very screwed up. Actually, yeah, there's, there's not really much damage to it. It's just the engine is completely, completely something. Something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone else in heading into the pits? Doesn't look like it. People really striding the line between entering and exiting. That could be an issue. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to become an issue. 
Oh, I guess not. That's Steve Morgan slamming into the pit road wall. No emotion whatsoever. And Michael Parsons right behind Ahitaka, I think. Is he in her gearbox? Yes, he is. Can we have a repeat of what happened to Zachary Taylor? Well, Ahitaka is heading into the pits anyway, so... There's that. Steve Morgan's day is over. RJ Sherry, I don't know what's up with him. Hanukkah, I mean, he's probably going to be stuck there as well. Zachary Taylor's day is over. It's all up to Kiga Honda to not bottle it. But it's also up to the GOAT to try and do well. And he's running in 22nd. And is in the spoon. Whereas Kiga Honda is already in... He's already heading out of... It's already heading underneath the bridge and towards the hairpin. So... Tour, tour time for everybody involved. All Kikihana has to do really is not bottle it, but he is, again, this gearbox writing we're seeing in Japan is very awkward. But uh, Kikihana has backed off from Jeff Lewis's gearbox, so that's good. Slightly good. Slightly. Slightly. It's nice to know that my internet friends are such motivational people. Make me quite happy. Okay, I'm seeing a post on my friend's blog and I'm very confused. But, oh well. La 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 la. Elmo's world. Oh, Jeff Lewis is heading into the pits. Is Kikihana heading in? No, he's not. Is anybody else going to hit the pit road wall? Find out next time on Stupidity Channel. Wow, these gar cars are very close together. Calabas and the two McLarens. None of them are going to hit the pit road wall, it's looking like. Gert's far behind everybody, and Kikihana is staying out, so I think he's going to have the lead now. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's cool. That's, that's all those things and more. water from the new hydro flask I got because my previous one got stolen. That was a while ago. Just a few weeks, but maybe I should actually look at the lost and found one more time. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure it's happening, guys. I'm not sure I'll ever find it. It's a real shame. But at least this one doesn't have any scratches or dings in it. Yet. Now this is boring. Lap 7 and Kigahan is in the pits. Lap 8, Kikihana is being scored as 4th. Lap 9, Kikihana is in the lead. Okay. Let's take a look at your lap times. Go ahead, the fastest lap time. Then it was Anza Samir, Kikihanda, um, Zach Mills. Oh, I got him right for once. Patrick Smith. Patrick. I, I I'm not sure what's wrong with me. Cal Weathers, Hibiki Ganaha, Juan Laponte, Zachary Taylor, and Tito Peters. Wow. Must be much of a ball kick to Zachary Taylor, of course. So, let's take a look at your order anyways. Kikihana's in the lead of two laps to go. Patrick Smith and Zach Mills in the podium spots right behind. Cal Weathers, Juan Laponte, Haruki Amami is not... Haruki Amami is not part of that. Aza Samir, Hibiki Ganaha, uh, Katarina Chernenko, Jeff Lewis in the top ten. Well, along with Takim Fujiwara, I think. Joey Trickle and Jax Curtis Jr. fighting for position of whatever seventh place is just exiting the pits. There's Derek Camel. Yep, nobody's stuck in pit road, actually. Ahidak is still in the race, which is quite surprising. More surprising is that the goat is behind her. What? In front. I'm confused. So much confusion. Sad. Let's see who's out of the race. Uh, of course, Corbett Williams retired on the first lap for some reason. Rupert Weissmuller uh, crashed into the goat. Um, RJ Sherry. No idea what happened to him. Steve Morgan crashed into the pit road wall. Makita Kikuchi and Zachary Taylor crash each other off. Hadaki Aomi, well, crashed off by the goat. I don't think that's part of it. And finally, Adam Lewis. Oh, he's just a lap down. Wait, where's Hadaki Aomi? Oh, she was the one stuck in pit road, and she's finally back out. Yay! But to everybody else, Zachary Taylor below, is out of the race.
And that's the goat spinning through turn one and into the tire walls again. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's when I he not get past him and take 17th position away. Here comes Kikihana out of the Casio Triangle and through the final turn. Down the front straight for the final time. Zachary Taylor and the GOATs. No chance of winning the championship. Now, Kiki Honda, it's his birthday. He's going to win the Japanese Grand Prix and clinch the championship. He's definitely going to clinch the championship. But all he needs to do is not bottle it and finish the race where he is right now. Not let Patrick Smith get past him. The crowd is absolutely cheering. They're absolutely ecstatic. They're absolutely, absolutely much excitement. Very cool. Much cool, very excitement. Yes, there we, there we go. Dog. Yay. Doge. I thought it was Doge. That sounds cooler than Doge. Or Doge. By the way, Doge is like some Venetian ruler or something. You've been schooled! You've been schooled. Just a few months ago, Japanese driving a Sauber won her home Grand Prix, and in doing so, clinched the F1 championship. It was the last race of the season, whereas this is the penultimate one. But ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see a Japanese in a Sauber <laughs> win his home Grand Prix and clinch the championship. There's going to be one more race after this, Abu Dhabi, but that's mostly just business and excitement. It's more money in the pockets of some crafty businessmen. in the United Arab Emirates. I was expecting more emotion, but I am being rushed by my parents to get through this video because typical parenting requires rushing your child. What if they could hear me? Imagine if my microphone was off or something probably keep this race open just in case I have to record again but then again yeah I'm too lazy more importantly ladies and gentlemen Kikihana runs rounds rounds the final turn for the final time he is going to be Euro 2 F1 Series champion he wins his home Grand Prix ladies and gentlemen the best combination of national anthems of all time for Japan and for Switzerland are coming up right now. I have too many tabs open, but too many windows open, but whatever. Birthday too, this is just miraculous. There's something. Just an achievement.
Chianti's run in the field, that's funny. The GOAT was fastest in practice, but only 20 second fastest in qualifying. Aza Samir, I got the pole. Obviously. Keiko Honda wins today and clinches the F1 championship on Japanese National Foundation Day, which makes it that much better. Patrick Smith and Zach Mills will join him on the podium. Aza Samir, Hiba Kagana, Hataki Mifujiwara, Cal Weathers, Katarina Chernenko, Jeff Lewis, and Joey Trickle score points today. Tito Peters, Jack Dakota Jr., James Saunders, Derek Hamill, Michael Pedersen, last lead lap finishers. Ahidak and the GOAT came home a lap down. Juan Laponte crashed into the pit road wall. Hadaki Amami and Adam Lewis were two laps down. Zachary Taylor and Mike Takikichi crashed each other off. Steve Morgan crashed into the pit road wall. RJ Sherry probably did the same. Rupert Weissmuller crashed into the GOATs, and Corbett Williams retired before completing a lap. And oh, everybody's run out of fuel. Artificial stupidity prevails. It's over. Kiki Honda wins the race and then takes the title at Suzuka underscore GTP. But there's just one more race to go. That's the thing. Flashy stuff under the lights in uh, Abu Dhabi. Cool. It's 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 been half food. It's been a time and a half in honor. And I will see you in the next video. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to go torture myself more with some bicep curls. Oh, it still hurts.